Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing some more cash games, playing 1-2 with a $200 bind. So we got small button open here, Colin Jack 6 suited. Flop bottom 2, King Jack 6, pretty good start. So it can probably go either way against smaller bets here. I think I'm mostly going to raise though. See the call, 7 turn. Go for a slight over bet turn here. Calls deuce on the river, and I'm trying to think if two pair can go for value. I think on this run out we can. Lots and lots of draws missing, so I'm gonna go for the value jam here on the end. They call king queen, nice jack six getting the value, good hand there. All right, so open ace queen here, three calls, pretty dry board, queen four two. So we'll start with a small bet here. So small blind going to the tank a little bit. Uh, nine of the turn here. I'm going to overbet turn. And then seven rivers. Our hand's strong enough to jam. I think we're going to. So jam in 119 effective into at 195. Go for like king, queen, queen, jack. Uh, seven, four. Oh, the two pair on the river. That's painful. Oh, we valued ourselves there. They flop the four. Turn a flush draw. All right, three bet tens here get called. Player's pretty short, so I'm not going to be checking this one back here where we would sometimes otherwise. And then even though we see an over card here, I think can jam the turn. Yeah, I'm going to go for jam for value here. And oof, they call us with the queen jack, hits the jack. That's painful. All right, no good at tens. All right, putting in the four bet here with kings. So this is we open, get three bet, we four bet. So see the call, not the nicest flop in the world here. I think we still start with a C bet, but. So check raises. Um, so if we call here, how would we proceed and like what cards would we fold? Queen 10-8. Right, yeah, I think we're just gonna call here. Jack's kind of weird because it pairs the top card, but I think would still be calling if he jams. If he checks, though, we probably check now. That would still be kind of the same. I'm we don't really want a queen 10, ace, queen 10, or 8. I maybe supposed to just get that enough flop. I think more jamming when there's like a flush draw out there, less jamming when there's not. And yeah, I'm going to check here. Still have to worry about him having some like boats now, 9, 7s. Um, with that said, backdoor clubs come in. We do have a club, though. Which is nice. If they have a queen ten of clubs, it'd be kind of unfortunate, but I'm gonna be calling down here once the turn checks through. If he checks, I wouldn't think he's checking better very often, so I think we'd want to go for value. But base jam, flop the set on us in a four bet pot. Kings no good, unfortunately. So over here, tens open, get three bets, go for the flat six, six, four, two diamonds. So we're gonna call here in the three bet pot pre and on the flop and just a beauty of a turn. The second boat of tens full of sixes that we've had in the last like 10 minutes. So we turn the boat here, double flush draw board. If they bet, we're just gonna be calling here. Give them the river card they want, please, dealer. As long as it's not like a better boat. <laughs> Should add that part, but anyways, both flush draws miss here. Hopefully it's like aces through jacks and jams for value. Or is bluff in here, has ace queen for the bluff, nice. Tens are good. Sometimes get caught, you're like, yeah, why isn't David said anything and why hasn't he moved for a while? Well, that'd be why. Here we flop straight, this is a pretty good one. So undergun open, we flat, big blind calls, and we're gonna bet with the flop nuts. Seven, six, five, board really good for the big blinds range. Wouldn't be shocked if under the guns checking either over pairs here, like aces, kings, queens, multi-way in particular. So they still have a lot of check calls here. Um, that's not a great turn card. I think we still want to be going for value, but not going to love the diamonds. So again, don't mind that it's an ace. We just don't like the diamond. Oof, board pair river. It's not a great run. I think we still go for value, but if we get jammed on this, would be a bet fold here. And if we get jammed on, like I said, plan's going to fold. Lose to bows, lose to flushes. Let it go. Like I said, in general, I normally like going three quarters once the nuts change on the river there, like that, where it becomes the, the boats instead of the flushes. But so yeah, cut off open here, three bet and queens. Uh, 
Here we three back queens, button versus cut off. So we'll go for a C back here on the 852. Two diamonds do have the queen of diamonds. And then interesting turn card. So I'm going to go ahead and bet here, double flush draw. Hopefully they'll jam some of their like jacks, tens, and nines here on double flush draw with like the ace having a gut or two. So we'll bet her. We do block both flush draws here. The heart and a diamond. If they check jam, like I said, we even beat some value hands like pairs will jam. So they don't like love it with tens and nines, but I think can jam it here because I can just, I don't have so many hands that are like two hours with a flush draw, two hours with a gutter, like stuff like that. So just calls and river. I think we still want to jam here. If it's a nine, it's a diamond or heart. I would consider just checking back, but I think queens want to jam here. Hopefully it doesn't have nines now. That'd be pretty sick. So hopefully like jacks tens. Jam it in here. Hand it just thinks I'm bluffing too much, maybe. Best bluff here, probably like ace king, ace queen. That's not two hearts or two diamonds. So I see the call by fours there. And we are good. Nice. Queens are good. Getting min three back here. We'll call sixes. Unfortunately, don't flop a set. Check, check. Who turned the set though? Double flush draw board too. So bets out, and we're going to raise here. Jack on the river. Oof, lead jams, 2x pot. Oh, gosh. Oh, this just feels so underbluffed. Ace queen even comes in. They can have like a set of kings or tens of slow playing, set of jacks, I guess. This is a pretty massive fold with two flush draws missing, but I think, I mean, we beat King Jack though. Oh, these, this is just so nutty. I'm just trying to figure out if he's ever jamming worse. I'm actually probably gonna fold this. So once I raise the turn, he 2x pot jams the river. Oh, I mean, if this is like, Jesus, oh, such. Yeah, I just feel so under bluffed. I'm just gonna be annoyed if he has like King Jack here ever, but that's like one hand maybe that we beat. Pain. Pain, pain, pain. I'm gonna fold though. So we got open, flat, fold four here. Good start. So we're gonna flop top, top. SPR about two to one here. Turn ace, even better. Uh, let's go quarter again. So we turn two pair here. Calls. Diamonds coming, which isn't perfect, but having the ace of diamonds in a four bet pot, I think this is still pretty clearly a jam. Hope he has like ace queen, ace ten, king jack. And snap folds the river. Ace king's good. Over here we open button, small mind three bets. We call queen, queen, eight. Flopping good trips here. So bet small call. Interesting turn card. Okay, go small in the turn here. So best bluffs would be like sixes, fives that float, missed gutters like jack 10, 10, 9. So here we're hoping he puts us on those. I think I could jam an eight for value as well here, so I'd be jamming any boat. But we'll be going for a value jam. Trying to target like aces, kings, jacks, tens, nines. Maybe an ace high just really thinks I'm going for it too much here. And queen 10. All right, so chop it up. Would have been kind of tilting there if I jammed an eight for value. I think I could jam an eight. It'd be kind of annoying to run into it, but tough turn card there. There's gonna be a lot of times we end up chopping, but to be ahead is uh, end up chopping kind of unfortunate. Uh, getting through bet here, we'll call flop a set, nice, and go for bet here. So hit that jack eight seven flop, bottom set four on the turn. So six five comes in just instinctively. If people say he did decide to use six five to use a three bet, most people would just usually see about it. So not as worried about it here. And going for value on the turn. Rivers obviously just don't really want a 10 or a 9. Any other river, even a club, I probably jam still. Even if it's slightly scary, not having a club, but I think we'd still want to jam it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think a set still goes for this here. You can have some over pairs still checking this type of board from time to time. If, especially if it's like aces, kings, or queens of the club. Ace, jack, o with a club. King, jack, o with a club. I think still going to call down with those a lot here, so... Gonna be a jam. You could have like tens or nines of the club too that can make for a decent call down here as well. 
think that'd be another hand that potentially can call us. We just see a fold though. So three red get called, flop a good king here, ace king king. Two hearts, start small. Player's a bit shorter stack to start the hand. Raises. Uh, let's see, with the hard draw out there. I mean, we're out of position. I think from out of position, I'm just gonna get this in. I don't know if this is right, but in position, I would just call. I don't want to get C-free, two free cards though. Charge their heart draws, and then also try to cooler other king X here. This could just be getting cooler against king queen too, obviously, but calls the ace nine with the diamonds. Looking pretty good, and we are. Nice, king jack wins that one. All right, three bet and kings over here. So we've got open, we three bet. Calls, eight, six, three. And then, let's see, they decide to lead. I think I'm just going to jam this flop targeting like queens through nines and then draws an 8x given their stack size here. Because if we call, it's like 80 in the middle, 100 back. So we're just going to jam the flop here. I don't think they're going to bet fold like nines, tens, jacks here. So I have six, five. They got a pair of sixes. We got 76%, 100% by the river. Nice. Check raising over here. So we've got a double gutter. Uh, board pair turn, not perfect. So I think it's still bet the turn, but... Uh, Heart River, double pairs the board. Uh, it's actually probably not great for me because if I have hearts, I'm going to want to check. Blocking straight is not relevant. All right, we're going to check here. Give up. He probably has more 7x than I do. Nines are probably three betting mostly pre. Could have quads, obviously, but I think going to check here. I'm not even sure what I'd be using as my bluffs, though. Because I, I almost wonder if I like don't want a heart because I try to get in the fold. Flushes. That's a weird one. Weird run out. I'm curious. Maybe I should bluff this one. I don't know. It's tough because I'm if at this point I would just be basically repping like nine seven. Quad sevens, quad fives, and seven five, which is like just becomes a lot less likely too. So, anyways, we'll fold the river. Kind of interesting hands. Here we have a nine eight suit to get called, bet the flop, gutter in the flush draw, gutter to the straight flush actually. All right, check raises. Pretty big size, just gonna be a call here. Ooh, flush, nice. All right, so if he checks here, we're gonna go for a bet, and then if he bets, we'll probably just call. And then any river that's not a diamond. Even a board pair would call even if it wouldn't feel great. And hit the straight, doesn't matter though. <laughs> Playing the flush. Bet 61. I think we go for the rest of this Ugh, against their stat line. I don't know. Uh let's see. 9-8. Yeah, this may be a little too thin, but we're gonna go for it. I think we still go for the rest though here against their stat line. Just see the fold though, take it down. <laughs> 